going in double overtime. Just felt like we, we made it, we made it in the right place. You know, I mean, having the ball at the end of the end of both overtimes um, to win the game, not both overtimes, but regulation as well. Um, you know, you just have to be positive, uh, especially with the young group still. I mean, I think we fought hard. I mean, it comes down to one possession within it in the two overtime games. So I mean, we have to take some positive out of this. But um, we, we just like like Coach stated us in the locker room. You know, we, we don't know how to win yet. You know, so I mean, you know, the last two minutes of the game, how to how to bunker up and and lock a team down and get those those extra possessions, diving on the floor, uh, limited limited teams to one shots, and you know things like that 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 help you win a game that really don't show up in the stat sheet or you know to the fans and stands and things like that. That we just have to uh, just keep growing on and it'll get there. You know, obviously we're we're getting there. We're getting better. I mean. It's still not a full 40 minutes, you know, we, we pushed it to 50 today, so, but, um, you know, I mean, but it's still tough, it's still tough just having, having this streak right now, and, but progress is getting there. How do you fight off the frustration of it and still try to make progress? How do you kind of uh, square that circle? Uh, we just got to take that into aggression in practice. Coach challenged everybody to, to fight the next person that they're guarding, you know, um, him and Trey go at it every day, they got to fight each other a little harder, me and Alex got to go at it a little harder. Uh, Grant and Devontae got, got to go at it a little hard. The bigs got to go at it a little hard. We make it too easy for each other in practice. And, um, you know, that, that's just something that has to come with us. You know, the coaches have done a great job with us. Um, they, they, they've proven that they can coach. So, I mean, it's on us. It's on us. that um, We have to listen to what they're saying, execute the game plan, and, and just be a tougher team. That, that's the one thing we're not doing. We're not being tough enough. Um, but it starts with us. It starts with me. It starts with Devontae. You know, all of us at the top. And then, and then it goes down. So, I mean, you know, I'll take blame of not having these guys um, as tough as, as I should make them. So, um, you know, but like I said, it, it didn't get there. We're, we're wrong. Brent, when, when, kind of floating on what Christian said, what, what do you think the team needs to get tougher at? And, you know, how does that process start? Well, uh, you know, I feel like our team, you know, just needs to get, you know, stronger on defense a little bit better. You know, just, you know, focusing on just, you know, the small detail things that the coach tells us to do. Just got started in practice, you know, because you know practice is where it all starts. You know, if we, do, if we do it in practice, it's going to translate into the game. And, uh, I feel like you know it starts in practice. How frustrating was it, Brent? I'll ask you. You know, Martez Harrison, you guys did a pretty good job on him for the first 30 minutes, and he starts hitting those contested threes. The defense wasn't bad on any of those shots, but you know, when you're trying to get over the top and get over the hump, you know, and somebody's hitting, you know, and to his credit, hit some tough shots. How frustrating is that? Trying to battle back. Uh, it's frustrating because you know we had the game won, you know, and I, I remember you know just being right there and he hit a tough tough shot on me, and you know it just it was kind of a dagger to our team, and you know credit to you know Martez, you know he, he made some big plays, but you know it was frustrating, you know, but you know I th I felt like we still had a chance to win the game, and you know it came down to a you know certain possession, uh, you know we just didn't come out with the victory. Christian, uh, you know this team is learning and trying to. But it's 12 games into the season, and obviously Valley play starts up next. You know how much? How, how do you kind of balance out learning, but then also, you know, having the sense of urgency to to, to get that learning done? You know, because the sands—it's not late in the season that you know the sands start to run out of that hourglass. Um, it starts in practice, but I also think you know it takes a, it takes a win just just to get us uh, you know off our on our high horses and get us bleeping a little bit. It's gonna, it's gonna take a win. And, uh, you know, we're gonna have to uh, be tough in practice. You know, listen to the scout report. Uh, scout reports are always great. Um, but it's just gonna take a win. You know, I thought today was gonna be that day. And we could, uh, you know, just leave, leave the rest of the non-conference right behind us and, and end it with the win and go right into conference play. But I mean, it's only gonna get tough from here. You know, we all know the Valley's gotten a lot better. So um, we can't, but you know, it's a new season now. Zero and zero. You can't focus on what happened um, in the past or today. We've got to focus on Illinois State and uh, getting better together, and getting these new guys knowing how tough this next uh, these next couple months are going to be. Because no team's going to feel sorry for us that we're four and eight. They're not going to care. But like I said, we're zero and zero. You know, this record right here doesn't matter if we can write the ship from here on out. Anything else, gentlemen? Thank you.